Okay, so some of the parts for the steering have come in. Uh, I'm still waiting on the steering shaft, which I need still to assemble it. Um, I took some pictures of this keyed shaft. Um, I'd use my other camera to get the macro in there. But what I did was I just uh, lightly fit the keyed section together so I can confirm that the angle is right, which it does look like it is right. So that is a very, very tight fit. So we're not gonna put that all the way on. I just slid it in there for right now. So yeah. Uh, so if you're interested, the uh, steering sector, from Sears Parts Direct 532136874. This uh, bushing assembly, uh, steering shaft support 160395. The steering shaft, have yet to verify it, it yet, but uh, it's a 582986401. And the axle hub cap. 104757X813. Uh, I just needed one of them, but I ordered two because they always tear and they get hard, and yeah, they're just hard to replace. So uh, I do have the bushings here for this whenever I do take that apart. So yeah, so far everything's looking pretty good. Forgot to mention the shaft assembly is a uh, jungle site, but it's actually a Husqvarna part number 532-1368-74. So this was an actual Husqvarna part, and it does look like it's going to work. So the only uh, wheel hub I was missing was on this back tire. So yeah, we got that replaced. And I went and got my 00 lithium grease for the transaxle. And that'll be going in to that plug right there. So, yeah, uh, things are coming together. Still waiting on some parts, though. I may do the grease thing tonight. Okay, so the first step to adding grease is to remove this little plastic cap. A little screwdriver, pry it up. And the cap is free. And the next thing, let me get over here so you can see. So, you want to make sure that that hole is open. It goes all the way through. You move this shift lever. You see there's a plate there that will block that hole off. So... All right, so next step is I got to find a funnel that'll fit down in there. Okay, so I tried shaking this up. This stuff is thick, so I'm going to stir it a little bit. This uh, can of Zero Zero Grease was actually given to me a long time ago. It goes a long way. Yeah. Not a whole lot left. You can see how thick that stuff is. All right, so basically I tie wrap the funnel, keep it in place, and very, very slowly that's going to bleed down into the axle and until it doesn't take any more. And then I'll plug it up, and that'll be greased for the, the whole summer. I did put blue paper towels down around the axle seals because, yeah, it's going to leak. But uh, this keeps that transmission going and going. So I'll go ahead and put this one together and throw it up. So get my steering parts in and uh, we'll uh, do a steering assembly. Thanks for watching.